Hi everyone, I am Madam Leung. Meet you again in this video session. I'm glad to be here to guide you in writing a good scientific experiment report for experiment one. The title of this experiment is Measurement and Uncertainty. Please write your experiment report in the lab report writing section provided in the physics practical workbook. Learning outcomes. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to measure the length of various objects and to determine the uncertainty of the length of various objects. A warm reminder, all the values shared under the observation are just for your reference to ease in explanation. You are not allowed to copy and use the values for your experiment report. Any values found the same in your experiment report are against the scoring rubrics, as no plagiarism is allowed. Another warm reminder, you must write your own lab report. You are not allowed to copy your peers' experiment report. Any doubts found in the originality of your experiment report are against the scoring rubrics, as no plagiarism is allowed. Write your experiment report in the physics practical workbook. Observations. State the instrument used to measure the length of the pen, which is the meter rule. Then calculate for the average length, which is 14.1 cm. Then complete this column by calculating the modulus difference between the average length and each of the measurement reading recorded. Then sum up these values and divide it by 5 to get the uncertainty of the measurement. And the result is 0. However, del L cannot be 0. It must be at least the uncertainty of the instruments used for the measurement. Therefore, the length of the pen that recorded here is 14.1 plus minus 0 0.1 cm. Then calculate for the percentage of uncertainty using this formula. 0 0.1 divided by 14.1 multiplied with 100%. The result is 0.8%. The percentage of uncertainty is less than 15%, which means the result that we obtain for the length of the pen is acceptable. Roman 2. State the instrument used to measure the diameter of the pen, which is the vernier calipers. Then calculate for the average diameter, which is 8.96 mm. Then complete this column by calculating the modulus difference between the average diameter and each of the measurements reading recorded. Then sum up these values and divide it by 5 and this is how we get the uncertainty of the measurement which is 0 0.01 millimeter. The del D calculated is less than the uncertainty of the instrument. It must be written as plus minus 0 0.02 mn which is at least the uncertainty of the instrument used for measurement. Therefore, the diameter that we recorded for the pen is 8.96 plus minus 0 0.02 millimeter. Then calculate for the percentage of uncertainty using this formula. 0 0.02 divided by 8.96 multiplied with 100% and the result is 0.2%. And the percentage of uncertainty is less than 15%, so which means the result that we obtain for the diameter of the pen is acceptable. Roman 3. State the instrument used to measure the thickness of the 50 cents coin, which is the micrometer screw gauge. Then calculate for the average thickness, which is 1.80 millimeter. Then complete this column by calculating the modulus difference between the average thickness and each of the measurement reading recorded. Then sum up all these values and divided by 5 to get the uncertainty of the measurement, which is 0 0.008 millimeter. The del x that calculated is rounded off to two decimal places, which is the same as the number of decimal places of the measured values. It also same as the uncertainty of the measuring instrument. Therefore, 
the thickness of the coin is recorded as 1.80 plus minus 0.01 millimeter. Then calculate for the percentage of uncertainty using this formula. 0.01 divided by 1.80 multiplied with 100%, the result is 0.6%. And the percentage of uncertainty is less than 15%, which means the result that we obtain for the thickness of the coin is acceptable. Discussion. Roman 1. State the results obtained in table form as below. Then, Roman 2. State at least two possible errors occur in the experiment and elaborate them. Roman 3. State at least two precaution steps taken in the experiment. For the conclusion, state whether the learning outcomes or the objectives of this experiment could be determined by the experiment. For example, the length of the various objects could be measured and the uncertainty of the length of the various objects could be determined by the experiment. A warm reminder, please check with your lecturer when to submit your experiment report as your lab report will be evaluated based on the report writing skill scoring rubrics provided in the physics practical workbook. That's the end for this video session and thank you for watching.